Hi, I'm Michael from Accessibe. Did you know that 4.5 billion people use the internet on a daily basis? The online world has become so important that most people rely on it exclusively for information and shopping. However, many people with disabilities are still experiencing challenges browsing websites. This is where web accessibility comes into the picture. Due to the importance the internet has on our lives, governments around the world began to accept that web accessibility should be considered as part of their current disability laws. For example, Title III of the Americans with Disability Acts prohibits discrimination against people with disabilities and public accommodations. Over the past few years, courts have been increasingly ruling that websites also fall under Title III. Another example in the U.S. is Section 508 requiring all federal agencies to make their digital properties accessible. The AODA and ACA in Canada, IS-5568 in Israel, and the EAA and EN-301-549 in the European Union are other examples of such laws around the world. Following these legislations, the number of web accessibility related lawsuits has been rising exponentially every year. The U.S. alone experienced over a 300% increase in demand letters and lawsuits against website owners since 2017. So how do you make your website accessible? The Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, otherwise known as the WCAG, were developed by the World Wide Web Consortium with the goal of creating a single set of standards for web accessibility. Today, most international regulations refer to the WCAG 2.0 AA level as the standard for which every website should conform. So, that's it. I know web accessibility is a complex topic, and I hope that I was able to make it a little more clearer for you. If you'd like to learn more about the regulations that are specific to your country, visit the compliance section of our website.